Hey everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in today. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am super excited to finally be able to do the great reveal. Uh, if you've got any questions, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Again, you're tuning into Trans West here in sunny Colorado and we've got a really nice treat. Um, I keep telling people, hey, Give me a call, order an RV. Today we are going to be touring two sold uh, 40 VBH Veronas. Um, the Renegade product has undergone a few name changes, so today we're going to actually focus on not only a demonstration, but a comparison of the new interior color names. Uh, today we are inside of what is called Gray Mist. It used to be Granite, so that's the middle one there. Uh, and then we're also going to go and take a look at what used to be uh, sandstone, which is now gemstone today. So as usual, um, I do want to start from the back of the RV. So if you don't mind, Zach, go ahead, pan around. Make sure you catch this furniture color, though, because this is the new gray mist. A lot of people have been looking for it. So take a look, and I'll meet you in the back. Now the reason I have Zach start from the back instead of where I am is because I have to get my shoes back on, climb down that little ladder. But we're good to go. So this is a 40 VBH. This is a bunk model, a really popular unit for us. And one thing that's nice to know about this RV is that today it is going to be 100 degrees in Colorado. And it is super cool and nice in here. Uh, we're just running off of the generator, so very, very cool. Uh, one of the big new advents of this model year is in 2022, we've added a whole bank of cabinets up here in the 40 VBH, which you didn't have before. We also have added shelves on either side of the window. So this used to be a big blank wall. This is very, very nice. And then again, this is that new gray mist interior color. So new decor, uh, very similar in terms of tone of color. Still have the nice dark countertops in here. Uh, the wood finish is very similar. Um, but just a little bit different. You'll notice the wallpaper looks pretty much the same. Uh, but this is what they call gray mist. So for those of you who are out there kind of lost because you're using your brochures and you don't have um, the new updated 2022 brochure, neither do we. Um, this is gray mist. The other change that we're going to note here is going to be the backsplash. Uh, used to be the Denali. Now it's just a nice monotone uh, look with a nice glass tile there. Um, I did want to show you today, just because we're doing two RVs, we've got the capacity to show you how much room you've got here in the bed. So a lot of times people are like, well, how big is that? Well, I have a hard time imagining things without looking at it. If I was an adult sleeping, I mean, I could do it. I don't know if I would be super comfortable, um, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be terrible. If I had had enough margaritas, it would definitely be a, like, it would work. So we could definitely do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is up top, we've got the, uh, this, the sunshade drawn. So you can see that it's closed up there. And we've got a nice, you know, go ahead and like, you can go up a little closer. I'm gonna retract that just so people can see what that looks like. Oh, am I getting it? There we go. So, nice wide open uh, viewing port for the kids if they're sleeping up there. And then the other feature that I thought was worth mentioning on this unit uh, today before we go to the next one is right here. Um, right now my boyfriend's in Arizona in our 36 VSB. It's also a Renegade Verona. Um, he is in 117. Uh, record temperatures in Arizona right now and doing the same thing. He's boondocking, running off of generator power, so it can absolutely be done. Uh, but one of the things that he doesn't have, which is new for 2022, is going to be this shade here. So the shade is really, really nice to have, makes a huge difference. And I'm just going to show you guys how to do it right there, Zach. So you just go up here and it just slides. And so this is a nice new feature that makes a really big difference in just keeping the sun out. Uh, one of the things he said was that it, the sun is just cooking that window. So you can come on outside. We're gonna start on the outside here. We're gonna be looking at Skyline today. So, so lucky to have some unique colors. We see a lot of the ingot colors, um, a lot of the heat wave. But today we'll be looking at Skyline and Coastline. Um, as you can see, just a beautiful blue dual tone. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention, uh, these LED, um, high definition headlights are going to really give you great illumination on the freeway. So big, big safety feature there. 
In 2022 also, you're gonna have your on-guard collision mitigation system. So a super nice feature there. That's gonna allow you to not only uh, use cruise control, but you can actually use adaptive cruise control where you can track behind somebody and pay someone as you'd like to while you're driving down the road. Uh, of course, we stuck with the traditional camera here, which will show you when you're changing lanes where somebody is. And of course, really nice, easy, open front access. Uh, one difference in 2022 is that you are going to have a 360 horsepower rating instead of a 350 horsepower rating. That same beautiful marriage between Cummins and Freightliner here and under the hood. And then uh, you'll still have that same 1,150 foot-pounds of torque, the same 20,000 pound towing capacity. So not a lot has changed there. And just nice, of course, on that soft close, easy to operate front engine compartment. Uh, of course, here's your fueling station. You've got two 50-gallon tanks. Uh, they do uh, they do flow into each other. It takes a while though, so you'll probably want to use both when you're fuel when you're when you're fueling. Woo! That was a doozy. Uh, so dual fill on the fueling stations, and we're gonna go ahead and just do our demo on this side since it's nice and shady. We're underneath our big awning, but look at all this storage we have. Um, I want you to know one of our technicians, whoever it was is really into Martha Stewart. It was on every single TV when I came in here today. Of course, here's your outside television, uh, Samsung sound bar as well. These are both gonna be, uh, you know, controllable. Nice to listen to the radio or to watch television outside with your favorite friend. And then another huge storage compartment. Um, I have another video where I do measurements. If you need measurements, please feel free to text me. I'd be happy to get you that information. As you'll notice, there's some 110 outlets in there with like a little cover which unscrews. So right here, you could actually unscrew this and run like your blender out through the compartment if you wanted to. Of course, you can't air up your tires. And then those are just your slide locks. Keep your slides from coming out while you're moving. I've never actually used mine, but I've heard they're a good idea. Uh, 22 and a half inch tires. Uh, this is gonna be the American Racing Wheel Series. A uh, really nice thing to see. They're really aggressive looking, kind of ties into uh, Renegade's image uh, with kind of the badass semi-truck Gurr look. We've got a caliber nine grill at the front. Um, so this is a really cool Mamba Jamba. And this is a little longer storage base, so it goes a little further through. And then we are running our eight kilowatt Onan generator on the inside for air conditioner on this one. And we've got the other one plugged into a, a outside plug. We've got 50 amp. So nice, Renegade Paul provides you with this nice um, dual ball so you can switch this up. Uh, you've also got all of your connectors for not only your trailer, but also for your camera system back here. This is the exhaust for your generator. Uh, so this, uh, this back portion here, this fiberglass cap is two portion. So if you were to have an accident and there was some damage down here, you wouldn't have to replace this top cap. That's pretty handy stuff. And again, this is going to be the skyline. So this is just a beautiful color. Uh, if you like that blue and silver and black look. And then if you went to see you and you want to get something like coastline, or maybe you just want to hang out in Baja a lot, this is going to be our coastline exterior. Same great hitch, mud flaps, all the like. Did your rear view backup camera up here. And then down here on this side, we've got our power hose, our power cord retract. And then also we've got our surge protector in here. Renegade does provide you with a 50 amp adapter. Um, and it's just nice, like I said, everything is power, so you don't have to wind it up. Saves you a lot of room and actually makes this a very usable compartment in the back. Here's that eight kilowatt Onan gen generator. Um, you can start this from outside, you can stop it from outside, and you can also do what I do, and I'm actually using right now, uh, the Vega Touch app. So the Vega Touch app allows me to start my generator right here, and I can do all my different controls here with this little app, so it's very, very handy. Um, it's actually how I turned it off right before the video started. So here in your water bay compartment, uh, you've got a power retractable hose reel. You know, everything is... Uh, actually etched into this metal so you'll know that that's not going to actually come off in the long in the long run uh, these are permanent 
there's no way to get rid of them so you don't have to worry about wearing things off and not being able to see things of course we have our whole house water filter place to store your uh, black water hose and then here to the left we've got our gray and black water tanks these are 75 gallon tanks so you've got 75 gallons of gray water and 75 gallons of black water each uh, with the under uh, the bed inside we have 150 gallons of fresh water and it's interesting i was watching tim's video last night tim o'connell is our uh, renegade rep and he is amazing and he said something that i had never thought of you know when you keep the water inside you don't have to worry about it freezing uh, all that being said we are we do have heated uh, bays they are heated by your aqua hot system this is your 24 250d aqua hot system this provides your hydronic heat this provides your uh, tankless hot water system also keep in mind you always want to have a bottle of aqua hot juice if you mention that you are watching these videos and that you've seen me and you'd like a free bottle of aqua hot juice with your purchase all you got to do is tell me you saw it here and that i've offered to give you one and i'd be happy to provide one to you um, it's hard to get them delivered by amazon or anything like that when you're at a campsite and if you don't have it you're not going to have hot water and that could be a total bummer uh, another storage bay i've been talking a lot about um, with all of our forest fires and all of our grass fires that we have and just these record heat sweltering temperatures that we have there's a really cool fire pit you can get it's called an outlander and it's a propane based fire tank or fire pit and it's actually good a lot of the state parks and it's so nice because you can just turn it off um, oh this is going to be a lithium ion battery pack so that this rv is equipped with our lithium ion battery pack of course that gives you a more consistent level of power uh, your appliances will like that better. It's also registrable on your app, so you can monitor your app there. And then we have our house batteries in here too. Uh, but being a little more efficient in space, we can put a lot less, uh, we've got a lot less room that we need to use for uh, the AGM batteries when we do it lithium. Uh, right here is that you've got your 10 gallon def tank and then your other side of your diesel fuel station. And I just wanted to make mention of this. So one thing that's really important to understand is when you are buying a Freightliner product, there's a whole lot of benefit to it. The safety systems that are standard, the construction of the vehicle, of course, all of the places that you can stop and have service across the country. But it's also, they're a very, very thoughtful, um, thoughtful company. And they think about safety all the time in, in other ways than you would actually expect. So for instance, if I'm gonna enter this cab, I've got a three point system. So I can put my hand here and my hand here, my foot here, so I can get up really easily. And I have places to grab the whole way in. So I can really have easy access. If you're concerned about that, that's something that's really important to understand. Not only do you have three doors on this unit to get in and out of the RV because it's a Super C as opposed to that Class A, uh, you also have really easy access points for getting up and in is gonna be simple. and Anyone can do it, even in high heels which you all know because I wear them all the time in my videos. Um, some other things to mention, standard brake controller right here, you can see that. Uh, right here, if you step on this, you've got a telescopic and uh, up and down adjustment for your steering wheel. And then here's your main chassis power supply source. So if you ever go to get in your RV and you can't get it to turn over, make sure that's not on off. Happens to me sometimes. Uh, and then right here is your engine block heater. It's just a plug. And yes, you can plug this in off of your RV. So I do get that question quite a bit. Again, nice convex mirrors. These are power and heated. Uh, the latch release here, just your turn signal indicators. Again, that nice light system. Here's that C9 uh, caliber grill here. The, the look on this is just incredible. Uh, this is a really, really sexy RV. Um, and someone asked me if it was black and gold or brown and gold, and it's definitely black and gold. So um, there's a lot of really nice features to this, but one of them is this sparkle that you have. Uh, it makes this really easy to take care of. So it's just really nice color combination, and it's kind of light in all the places where you get backsplash. So this is gonna be a little easier to maintain than some of our other RVs. Um, all that being said, let's go ahead and get to the inside here. Zach, I'm gonna let you start first. On your way in, if you wouldn't mind, just show how cool that light is up there above the above the door. So nice bright light for people who are coming in. Stairwell does not have carpet on it any longer. It's really easy to clean. It's a nice solid surface. And then as you note, I have the bed uh, retracted here. So you could see, you know, how much room you have to access here in the front. So plenty of room to get in. 
of course you've got your insignia TV here with a remote and then up here you'll see that the kids are going to have a place to keep their uh, iPhones charged. There's uh, two USB ports as well as a 110 and then all of their controls right here as well. Uh, these little pins can go in here to hold this in place. So there's a little hole here or they can go up here to hold it in place after you have the bed out. So that's what these are for. Um, and then there's air conditioning vents right here, which is super, super nice. Helps to keep things cool. And I know we were talking about that Vega Touch app, but one of the things I want to do right now is actually, Zach, if you don't mind, let's trade places. I'm going to go walk through to the back. I want to show how much walking room is in this RV. So this is all the walking room that you have um, when you're with your slides closed. So this is travel mode. What that means is, so you've got two seat belts here, three seat belts here. I can be sitting here playing cards. I can have the dogs out. I've got plenty of room for a crate or two. So super nice. Um, and I think that that's one of the major benefits that you have um, with the Renegade product. The other one that you have is this app. So right now what I'm doing is I'm using this Vega Touch app. So it's called Vega Touch Mira. And I'm just holding this button down and it's actually opening all my slides for me. Um, so what's handy about this is let's say you get somewhere, of course this is a bunk model, right? So you got you could sleep two here, two here, two in the bunk, two in the bedroom, and then maybe another one or two here. So up to 10 people in this RV. Everyone's sleeping, you get there, it's late, you've been driving all day. If you wanna go outside and put your slides out, without disturbing anybody you can do it with your app and you can be watching outside to make sure you're not going to hit a tree when i put the awning out next door this morning i actually did it from outside because i wanted to make sure i wasn't going to hit the rv that was parked next to me so it really becomes endlessly useful um, above our front section here we have 12 feet of cabinet space and these are really deep cabinets so what's nice about these is you can put board games in here. You can put all your lighters and like, you know, boxes of like outdoor camping supplies for like fire starting kits, all of those uh, like cute little, you know, tablecloths and clips that we like to use. Um, you can keep your paper plates up there, whatever you like. You've got a ton of storage in here. And this one we have running off of electric. So we don't have the generator on in this RV. Uh, and it's nice and cool in here. I want to show you how this bed looks. I know we didn't do this on the other one. And again, this is a new gemstone interior. So there's a little cord down here. Uh oh. And if you don't have this, you can't release it. But if you have it, it just pulls up nice and easy. You drop these into place and then slide out. And what's nice about this situation is this is a really, really comfortable bed if you need to use it. Your seat belts are here underneath. Again, there's three seat belts here two here, two in the front, so you can seat seven safely in this RV while on the road. But this is a full queen size bed. So this is a 72 inch wide couch. This is a queen sheet if you want to know what kind of sheets to get for it. And it's super comfortable. So let's say it's you and the kids, maybe your, their parents, and you all want to go on a camping trip. Plenty of room in this coach for everyone to be comfortable. I'm a big fan of putting the kids outside unless it's raining, but if they have to come in, uh, this is just amazing space. So love that. And as you can see, super easy to put up. And once again, you just want to make sure you keep this handy so that when you're closing it up, be mindful of where it's at and just drop it down. It latches into place and then it just drops into place. Really easy. Uh, articulation into a queen size bed for you there. Um, I love the new accent pillows and the wall sconces. They're just really pretty. Um, you'll notice another new feature for 2022 is that we have, uh, there we go, get nice and dark in here. So you can get a nice and dark inside, but for 2022, we have two of these interfaces. So that's also very cool. And these are really easy to sync to your phone. You just find it, it's got the password right there. Uh, I get a lot of questions as to whether or not they're going to be able to uh, be like watch and see whether or not your temperature is good when you're away from the vehicle. They only work when you're within cell phone reach. So you have to, you couldn't use the app, for instance, if you were you know, down at the beach and your RV was 20 miles away, it wouldn't work that way. Okay, so let's do rear side extend.
So I love that the kids have access to their bunks while they're driving because as all of us parents know, as soon as the RV starts moving, the kids will have to like make a burrito or cook cookies or take a nap where they've been totally fine to not do anything all day. Yeah, but it's really nice that they have access uh, to that. So again, we've talked about this already. Here in the rear bedroom, we have this new event, which is just these great uh, storage cabinets up top. There was kind of a waste of space last year in 2021. So they brought in the cab over bunk, but in 2022, they brought the shelves over the bed. And then of course, you've got a control panel right here to turn on and off your lights. So just kind of nice to have that at your fingertips. You probably won't use it. You'll probably use your phone. Uh, two USB ports, again, nice nightstand place to keep some water bottles and anything that you want next to there maybe keep your remote there so you don't lose it there's a lot of remotes in this RV uh oh Wendy Williams how did you turn on <laughs> so tons of wardrobe space as well really nice drawers these are all dovetail high quality construction um, the Amish are just amazing craftsmen and Renegade makes full use of that community and really, you know, provides a very nice lifestyle for everybody that's out there in Elkhart, Indiana. This is a huge drawer. Wendy, stop. All right, that's the wrong controller too, I think. There we go, sorry. And then two more over here. And this has a removable panel, so if you did have something longer like wetsuits or the like, you could go ahead and use that here. Everything is lit. I love the way these LEDs are inter, uh, interfaced into the into the uh, cabinet this year, really classy. Uh, and then over here on this side, you'll see we've got privacy. So really nice solid division between the front and the middle. And then also you have another door here. So if you're up playing cards late and the kids had already gone to bed, oops. You could have the kids asleep here in the middle. Uh, there is an option if you'd like to have doors here on this bunk. So if you'd like to do that, you can. And of course, these guys also have uh, their own televisions. They've got two monitors or 20 inch, 27 inch monitors for the kids over here. They both have windows. And then there's two USB ports again and another 110 outlet. So really handy there. Uh, Zach, we're gonna trade places. I'm gonna show you the washer and dryer. So I love that this feature is right here very conveniently next to the bedroom. Um, it's a great place to be able to fold all of your laundry. Uh, we've got the washer on the bottom, the dryer on the top. Splendid does a great job for us. And I always recommend to people, keep your yucky smelling like campfire clothes in the washing machine or the dryer. Or just use one for lights and one for darks like we do. That way you don't have smelly clothes in your RV making the whole RV stinky. Uh, down here, some more drawers, super long space here. You want to keep some underwears and socks rolled up. Be a great place to do it. And then each kid could have their own drawer, which is really nice because when you're traveling, just to have a place to keep your swim trunks and all that stuff is super awesome. And then here in our, med in our bathroom, um, it's really great radius shower. Oh, gotta be stronger than the magnet. Uh, this year they have an adjustable shower head, so I really like that. And they've given us a soap dish, which I think is really nice. And it's still removable, so I could still use the handheld version of it. A um, few places to keep your shampoo and conditioner, but most importantly, if it's cold, I love that this is magnetic because what it does is it keeps it from getting, uh, letting the, the, the hot air out, it keeps it nice and warm in here. If the kids are naughty, you just put them in here and then you close this. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. You'll probably get in a lot of trouble. It's probably against all the rules. Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. So up here, what an awesome place to keep your toilet paper and like those little, you know, little things that you use to keep your black tanks clean. And then just more medicine cabinet space. These are separate containers. Great tall cabinet right here. And then really nice drawers. Mom and dad could be at the top. Kids could be at the bottom. Room for some towels here. And then more storage here as well. 
I love these solid toilets. Uh, there's nothing better than not sitting on something that's all rickety and plastic, so really nice. And of course, you've got the different types of flush. You can use the more convenient uh, lower flush level, so the Eco Flush right here, or you can use a normal flush. And then your fan control is right here for your fantastic fan. It is going to be something where it is uh, also controlled. Um, you can't get it. It's okay, Zach, don't worry. So the fantastic fan has a switch right there, which is really nice, and it's rain sensor. So if it needs to go down because it's pouring down rain and you don't want water in the cabin, that's not a problem. So here's that second control panel. So this is a new feature for 2022. We didn't have this before. And then once again, it's super simple. You can see everything here, how much water you have, all of your light controls. This is where you could start your generator, and you can do all of these things on your phone. Here's that fan control here as well, so you have it in two different places. If you know your three-year-old's in there just tearing it up and didn't turn the fan on, you can take care of that from outside so you don't have to, you know, get that toxic uh, plume when she opens the door. Uh, oh, check this out. Lots and lots of room. Love this. I use this to keep, I keep those, uh, those trays as opposed to using the plates when we're camping. And when you're sitting outside on a lawn chair, they just sit on your lap a lot easier. You can store a whole bunch of them in here. And then of course below that, you have this beautiful Samsung refrigerator. Uh, this is a residential size refrigerator with French doors. Um, I love the movable fresh box. So I have the same refrigerator in my Renegade. It's super nice. Get all sorts of stuff in there. And then down at the bottom, you've got your freezer and then your ice tray with some type of fixture in there. Um, and I like the fact that these locks are really simple. Like you know when you're going down the road, if it's not red, it's open. So you can just lock these and then they won't come open while you're driving, which is really nice. Tons of room for snacks. And in the 40 VBH, you get a little bit wider drawers. So these are really nice full length, both deep and shallow drawers, um, all with soft clothes, super high end construction as usual. Uh, Renegade is really tough. If you're looking for a very durable, kid-friendly RV, uh, this is the way to go. This is just a monster on the road. Tons of, like I said, uh, torque. 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. You can really get your boat out there, pull the cars, get your side-by-sides. And then if you want the kids to make you breakfast, this is a true induction cooktop. One of the nice things about this cooktop is you can literally put a paper towel down on this cooktop and then pu put a pot of water and boil water without it catching on fire. So what that means for you is when your kids are making you eggs for breakfast, you're not gonna have to call the fire department after you get done with your bacon. So really, really nice safety feature. And then of course you can make both uh, cookies or use this as a microwave for like microwave burritos. So this is a true microwave or a true oven, whatever you'd like it to be. There's a lot of TVs in this RV. There's one there, one there, two here. So we're up to four. There's another one in the bedroom that's five. There's another one outside. We have six televisions. Um, there's your Blu-ray player. I don't know. We don't ever watch TV when we're camping. We watch movies when we're driving to and from places. And we usually will watch like How to Train Your Dragon for like the 18th time. I don't know how many times I've seen that movie, but we love it. Uh, but lots of room for plates and dishes all of the things that you need in the house. And I love the undermount sink here. Nice deep sink with a residential size uh, si style faucet with both pour and spray. Again, this is that application, the Vega Touch Mira run by Firefly. Super, super clutch. It really is a difference maker in this RV. Being able to do everything on your phone is just so awesome. And then lots of room here. I actually keep my little uh, my little uh, handheld back there. And then this is really nice. We can actually keep a stack. Uh, we do um, a black one for outside, a blue one for recycling, and then we use a silver one for inside. And then when we're traveling, we just stack them all together, keep them underneath. But there's a ton of room in here for cleaning supplies. And then there's a subwoofer here that ties into that sound bar. So you get really amazing sound. So if you want to listen to little Jimi Hendrix, you know, while you're making your breakfast in the morning, totally available to do so. Some more storage space once again. Great drawer capacity. Um, lots and lots of remotes. They're strewn throughout the cabin and there's still a ton in the drawer. Give you a lot of touch-up paint. 
Uh, we binged our bumper last week, and I was like, thank God, now we don't have to worry about it not being scratched. But really nice that, you know, Renegade gives you all your touch-up paint so you can take care of that kind of stuff on your own. Now, please keep in mind, uh, Trans West has, oh, and this is uh, the Ocean View. This is a pretty, uh, this is a countertop that comes in this gemstone. And then this is the Fawn Tile Backsplash. Uh, but what I was going to say is Trans West has a lot of uh, benefits. So not only are we Freightliner, Spartan, um, Daimler certified, we're also Winnebago, Renegade, Newmar certified. And then down the street, about 30 miles away from here, maybe even less, maybe 20, we have what's called Branch One. And this is a huge semi-truck company. So we have a gigantic body shop. So if you need help, and you bought your RV from us, the one thing I can say is it's really nice to do business with TransWest because we really are a full service dealership. We also have camping here on premise. So if you buy your RV, let's say, and you live in Oregon, every summer you can just schedule that. You know, the third week in July, you're gonna stop here for two nights, get your regular maintenance done. We have both chassis and house service available in one location. You can camp during the night, give us the keys during the day, head up to Estes Park, go down to Red Rocks, see a great show. Um, this is really just an amazing place to do business. Um, and I like to think that uh, we provide probably one of the best selections of inventory in the country when it comes to the Super C demographic. So just a little more storage here underneath. These, of course, and the, the one next door, those are the pillows that you saw when they were down, but so plenty of room to keep bread. Uh, when Cell and I were doing our cross-country road trip last year, she actually kept her laptop underneath here and did all of our Zoom calls while we were driving. So pretty awesome there. Um, I think that we've really covered most of what we need to today. Uh, my main goal was to make sure that we covered, anyone see where my, oh, there it is, clipboard went. Covered the difference between gray mist and gemstone. Um, and just some of the, the creature feature differences. Of course, we have our new seats. Uh, these are Mastercraft. So that's the new seat manufacturer. If you haven't seen these before, these are the Mastercraft seats. They're really nice. They're maybe a little more puffy and comfortable, uh, but they still flip around. They're still heated, all of those great things. If anything, I mean, I know that people were sad uh, when the old seats went away, but these are still the air ride. And I think the quality is just as high. So I don't think it's a sad day. Uh, this is your Wabco system. So this is going to be what shows you, you know, how close you are to someone in front of you or behind you. You'll notice the Garmin screen's a little bit bigger than it used to be. It has a lot better features. It's a lot easier to use. Um, There we go, that's the one I want, there we go. So all of your features are right here. Um, and you can set your vehicle profile the same way that you did before, so this will tell you whether or not you know, you're gonna go under a bridge that's too short. You still have your engine brake, you still have um, your power locks, your heated mirrors, your power windows. Uh, the lane alert is a new system, um, and that's gonna just tell you when you're departing the lanes, which is great. Uh, you've got your Allison transmission is still the same. Your, there's your backup camera for your trailer. And then again, this is telescopic as well as up and down. We talked about the brake, brake controller already. But no, I, I mean, I think that we've covered uh, most of the differences that we need to today for the 40 VBH. And keep in mind, we also have, you know, a number of different Verona models. These, of course, are going to be all electric, no propane on board, um, and a really just nice segment in the motorhome market. Uh, the 20,000 pound towing capacity is real. I mean, when you're going up a hill in Colorado, it's typically, you know, you're going between 5,000 and 14,000 feet. And uh, these things just they make it look easy so i encourage you if you haven't test driven one please come out and see me i'd love to take you around the block throw in a trucker hat if you end up buying one uh, my name is katie o'neill i'm here at TransWest truck trailer rv and my number is 303-562-8659 uh, thanks so much for coming and visiting today i hope i gave you some clarity on these interior color questions i keep coming up with and uh, if you need anything else let me know thanks for tuning in If you want to head out, Zach, you could head out and just do a pan out.